red or green? It is a family affair for Emma and Frank Nahar, owners of Tio Frank's Chili Sauce. And it's good. I visited the kitchen where the magic happens, and I got a taste of New Mexico's favorite food made with New Mexico style. Well, I am so excited to be here in the kitchen with Frank Nahar, who is the owner of Tio Frank's Chili Sauce. And this is really exciting to me to meet you. So first of all, thanks, thanks. for welcoming nice me. You. Thank you. It's good to be here. And you know, everything's just a little extra special when it's made with New Mexico style, oh, don't you think? definitely, definitely. <laughs> so, so how did you get started? We used to own a restaurant several years ago. Okay. And uh, after we closed out, we had a lot of customers asking us for our chili. Mm -hmm. So instead of opening up another restaurant, we decided just to package the chili and sell it. What a great idea, and it's obviously been very successful. What, where did you get the recipe? What was the inspiration for the recipe itself? My mother's recipe. Ah. Her name's Emma Dean, and the old restaurant used to be called Dean's. And everyone knows uh, that that was her recipe. So That's we just her thing. kept jarring it and growing smaller. We started small, we're going bigger and bigger every day. Can you give any secrets away with the recipe, or is it all secretive? Uh, the only secret I can give away is it's made by family. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's a little bit of a tease, but you know what? That means you just have to go out and buy it and taste it for yourself. Now, there's a whole process besides just making it. The jarring process is pretty intricate in itself. You actually have, it's a family affair. You have the whole family helping. Yes, my nephews that I raised and my niece help us. That's what we call it, Theo Frank's Chili Sauce. Aww. And it's a uh, cheap labor. I love it, I love it. Well, that's the way it should be, family together. And of course, in just a moment, I want you to show us how it's done. But first, Great. I want to ask you, how has the mixing bowl really helped with your business? Oh, it's been a godsend. Without this organization, we wouldn't exist. So that's that fantastic. Is. Tell our viewers just a little bit about what they do. Well, they help a lot of small businesses. It's an incubation for small business growth and development. So uh, come here and get started, and they'll give you a lot of resources, a lot of contacts, and a lot of information to get your business going. I love it. And what's the next step for you? The next step is uh, bigger contracts and our own location. Ah, that's what we want. Well, you know what? The more people that buy the chili sauce, the more opportunity you'll have to continue to expand, right? Yes, ma'am. That's you. what we want. So let's take a look at how it's all done. I'm really right. intrigued by the process. Today we're doing the red chili. Okay. Uh, made from whole pods. We blend it, and then we cook it up in these steam kettles. Wow. Once we get it to about 220 degrees. Oh, my goodness. We put it in our hot filler over here. It's and hot all the way around. Yeah, it literally. Has to be 190 <laughs> when it goes in the jars okay. to sterilize the jar and the lid. Okay. And it's called a hot fill. We invert the jar for three to five minutes, and okay. it seals the lid. And then we uh, turn it right side up, and as it cools, it draws the button down, that little suction button when you uncap it. Yes. And that's how we have a good fill. Well, it's joints. like a real assembly line here. Can I see? Can I see what happens? So now you've stirred it up. Now what happens next? What's the next step? Next step is we dump into this Lexan. Okay. Pour it into our hot filler cone. So that's the hot filler cone? Yeah. Wow. And we fill it from there, a cone at a time. Okay, now here's here's the big question. Everybody watching right now is saying, I want some. What do they need to do to get it? We're located in all Whole Foods in New Mexico, Albertsons it, from El Paso and New Mexico. We have uh, Whole Foods in Denver, Colorado. Oh, good. Also Keller's Meat Markets, John Brooks, uh, hmm. the food co-ops, and pretty soon hopefully Smith's. And hopefully if you move out of state or have a visitor that comes in and gets a taste and gets addicted and they leave, can you send it to them? Yes, I ship all over the United States. You go to my website, www.theofranks, T-I-O-Franks.com. I ship all over. Okay, and now I have to taste it before I go. Oh, great. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you so I'll much. I'll give you a jar. Okay. Thank it's, you. It's a deal. All right. <laughs> all right. Yes, and for more information, you can visit teofranks.com. And he kept his word, Kristen. He did give me a jar, I will Aww. say. In fact, he gave me one green and one red. And I haven't tried the green yet, but the red is fantastic. It is so good. You gotta bring it here and share it. I, I will share it. I've only had a little bit. I, I'm really impressed, and I love to see a family come together like that. So I wish them so much success. Good stuff. Yes.